This video demonstrates how to configure any link and monitor link status on Ruegia Cloud. In a retail chain scenario, businesses operate a wide network of stores across multiple locations. These stores need to maintain real-time data synchronization with the headquarters and data centers to support operations such as inventory management, sales data summary, and CCTV video backhaul. Ruegia Cloud's AnyLink solution is designed to meet these requirements. It provides stable, low-latency network connections for each store, ensuring the efficient operation of the inventory management system. The Headquarters Surveillance Center can access and store surveillance videos from each store in real time. Moreover, the centralized management feature of AnyLink enables the headquarters to easily manage the network configurations of all stores, quickly adapt to business changes, and improve operation and maintenance efficiency. AnyLink offers four key features to meet the needs of various scenarios. Networking without a public IP address. Visibility on operation and maintenance. Batch project configuration. Pre-configured deployment. Two videos will be released to explain these four features. In this video, we explore networking without a public IP address and visibility on operation and maintenance. The AnyLink solution connects the local area networks of multiple branches without the need for public IP addresses. It leverages cost-effective home broadband services for resource sharing and communication. Note that only projects created under the same account support the SD-WAN feature. For networking without public IP addresses, the establishment of SD-WAN tunnels depends on the carrier's NAT policy. Click Service in the top navigation bar and select any link to access the configuration page. If this is your first time creating an SD-WAN group, click Create your first SD-WAN group and enter the name of the SD-WAN group in the pop-up box. Ruegia Cloud supports three networking types. Hubspoke, branches are connected only to the headquarters. Mesh, all projects are interconnected to each other. Custom, you can define the connection of each project based on actual service requirements. If you are unsure about the networking type, click Proceed with Batch Configuration to skip the networking configuration. Select at least two projects to create an SD-WAN group and experience the batch configuration or pre-configuration features. The configuration process for the three networking types is typically the same. First, select the networking type. Second, choose the projects. For the custom type, configure the connection method. And finally, verify the VLANs to complete the configuration. This video demonstrates how to configure SD-WAN using the hub spoke type. Select Hub Spoke as the networking type and click Next. Select the project where the headquarters gateway is located. Select the projects where the branch gateways are located. If your project has multiple WAN interfaces, you can specify the one used for SD-WAN traffic by clicking WAN settings. Select the WAN port that permits access over tunnels for each project. When multiple WAN ports are selected, you can configure the WAN policy. Click Next. Select the VLANs of each project in the SD-WAN group. You can click the Add icon to the right of the project and enter related parameters to quickly create a VLAN. After verifying the VLANs, click Create a SD-WAN group. After the configuration is delivered, click View Monitoring Dashboard to check the network status. The monitoring page provides operation and maintenance personnel with a centralized and visualized network management interface. On the monitoring page, the project location and connection status are displayed on a map by default. On the left pane of this page, you can view the online status of project gateways and the bandwidth utilization of all WAN ports. Click Config to configure uplink and downlink rate limits for specific WAN ports. Click the Tunnels tab to view the link status. Click a specific link to view its details. Wagia Cloud supports two connection modes, Direct Connection and Cloud Forwarding. If Direct Connection is unavailable, click NAT Detection to check the NAT type and make the necessary adjustments. Click the WAN Ports tab to view the WAN Port status. Click a specific WAN Port to view its details. 
Click the settings icon in the upper right corner to set thresholds for link latency and uplink and downlink bandwidth utilization. This helps identify abnormal links and WAN ports. To change a project's location, click the edit icon in the lower right corner to access the edit page. Then drag and drop the project to the desired location. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.